Don't scroll past this. I know, you're tired of hearing HIV cure is coming for the last 30 years. You've seen headlines. You've hoped and you've been let down. But this video is different. Because today I'm going to explain clearly and honestly what's really happening with CRISPR-HIV and the science that could finally change everything. No hype, no clickbait. Just real facts from a doctor who's been watching this breakthrough unfold. So if you've ever been confused, frustrated, or just curious about the truth, this is the one video you need to see. Let's begin. It's not just hope anymore, it's science, and its name is CRISPR. In this video, I'm going to explain, as your doctor, what CRISPR is, how it works, what it's doing right now inside HIV research, and when, realistically, this could become available to the public. Let's begin by understanding the foundation. CRISPR isn't a drug, it's not a supplement, and it's definitely not some sort of silver bullet made in a lab overnight. CRISPR is a gene editing tool, a kind of molecular scissors, that can be programmed to find specific sequences of DNA and then cut them precisely. Imagine you're editing a book and you want to remove a single typo. CRISPR lets you go straight to that word, delete it, and even replace it with something better. The original concept behind CRISPR actually comes from bacteria. Yes, bacteria. In nature, bacteria have their own defense systems to fight off invading viruses, just like we have immune systems. Scientists discovered that bacteria store snippets of virus DNA inside their own genome, kind of like a mugshot, so they can recognize and fight those viruses if they ever return. This system, called Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, or CRISPR works like this. The bacteria produce our NA segments that match the virus's DNA and then guide an enzyme, usually Cas9, to cut the virus DNA precisely where it matches. When scientists saw how this worked, they realized they could borrow this system and program it to find and cut any DNA, not just viruses. By designing a piece of RNA that matches the gene they want to edit, researchers can guide the Cas9 enzyme to a specific location in the genome whether it's a gene-causing disease, a virus hiding in the DNA, or any mutation they want to fix. The Cas9 enzyme then makes a clean cut, and the cell's natural repair machinery kicks in. Scientists can either let the cell repair itself, which sometimes knocks the gene out, or introduce a corrected version of the gene during the repair process. The result? You can now edit the human genome with surgical precision. And that's the game-changing potential of CRISPR, not just treating disease, but removing it at the genetic level. Let's now shift from theory to application. What does CRISPR actually do inside the human body, especially in the case of HIV? To understand that, we need to understand what makes HIV so difficult to cure in the first place. HIV doesn't just circulate in the bloodstream like bacteria or common viruses. It infects specific immune cells called T-helper cells, particularly CD4 T-cells. But it doesn't just infect them, it integrates its own genetic material directly into our DNA. In other words, HIV becomes part of our genome. And because it hides in long-lived immune cells, often in a dormant or latent state, it can't be cleared by medication or immune responses. It's like a sleeper agent that doesn't activate until conditions change. That's why even the best antiroviral therapies, or ART, can't eliminate HIV. These drugs suppress the virus so it can't multiply, but they don't remove it from your body. This is where CRISPR comes in. Scientists are now using CRISPR to seek out the hidden HIV DNA inside our own cells and cut it out. It's like finding a corrupted file in your computer system and deleting it permanently, not just hiding it or closing the program. Once the CRISPR tool enters the bloodstream, usually via injection, it carries specially designed RNA guides that are trained to recognize the genetic sequence of HIV. When CRISPR encounters a T-cell that has HIV integrated into its DNA, the RNA guides Cas9 straight to the virus. Cas9 then makes a precise cut, slicing out the HIV DNA from the host genome. 
This leaves behind a cell that no longer contains the virus. If enough cells are successfully edited this way, the body could, in theory, be completely cleared of HIV. We're talking about actual removal, not suppression. That's what makes this approach revolutionary. It's no longer just managing HIV, it's potentially erasing it. To fully grasp Earth's pros promise, we need to compare it to what we currently have. Today, HIV is treated using antiretroviral therapy, a combination of medications that prevent the virus from replicating. These drugs are incredibly effective, and they've turned HIV from a death sentence into a manageable chronic condition. But ARG has limitations. First, it doesn't eliminate the virus. If a person stops taking ART, the virus returns, often aggressively. Second, lifelong medication can have side effects. Third, access to ART is uneven around the world, particularly in low-income countries. CRISPR offers something radically different, a functional cure. In a groundbreaking preclinical study involving mice and monkeys, Researchers used CRISPR to target HIV-infected cells and cut the viral DNA. The result? 100% of the treated animals were completely virus-free after the experiment. That's not just viral suppression, that's eradication. The reason this is so important is because CRISPR goes after the viral reservoir, the hidden pockets of HIV that art can't reach. If CRISPR can consistently remove these from the body, then the need for lifelong medication might disappear. Think about that. No more pills, no more blood tests every three months, no more fear of stopping treatment. It's important to clarify, CRISPR isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, at least not yet. The process still needs refinement. Delivery mechanisms, immune responses, off-target effects, these are all real challenges. But for the first time, we have a tool that could reverse HIV infection, not just manage it. So, is it available now? Not yet, but we're close. In 2022, a U.S. biotech company, Excision Biotherapeutics, started the first human trial for a CRISPR-based HIV cure, called EBT-101. This therapy injects CRISPR directly into the bloodstream where it searches for HIV DNA and cuts it out from infected cells. The trial is small, only a handful of patients. But early results? No major side effects? Reduced viral load in some participants. And most importantly, it works in human cells. Now comes the big question. When will the CRISPR-based cure for HIV be available to the public? Here's the honest medical answer, not yet. Even if current trials go perfectly, we're still at least two to five years away from a potential public rollout. Why? First, the therapy needs to complete phase two and three trials, which could take several years. These will determine long-term safety, effectiveness, and identify any rare side effects. Second, the treatment must be approved by regulators like the FDA or EMA, which involves detailed reviews of clinical data. Third, even after approval, it will take time to scale up manufacturing, train medical teams to deliver gene therapy, develop safe pricing models for global access. And this last point is critical. HIV affects millions in low-income regions especially in Africa and Southeast Asia. If this therapy is to become a true cure, it must be affordable and accessible, not just a luxury for the wealthy. Excision Biotherapeutics has stated that they are committed to global access, but that's going to take effort, funding, and international cooperation. So the takeaway? Be hopeful, but be patient. This is the most promising development in HIV history. But like all medical breakthroughs, it must go through the full journey of validation and safety. If you're living with HIV or know someone who is, here's what I want you to remember. You are not forgotten. You are not broken. And science is finally catching up to your hope. CRISPR is not a miracle. It's a tool. But in the hands of skilled scientists and compassionate doctors, it may finally give us the chance to do something we've never done before, cure HIV. I know how heavy this journey has been. I've walked it with many patients. The side effects, the stigma, 
the uncertainty. But we're entering a new era, one where your diagnosis may no longer be a life sentence. Will it happen tomorrow? No, but it's coming. And you deserve to know that. So stay informed, stay empowered, and never give up hope. If you found this video valuable, please consider subscribing. This channel is all about breaking down medical science for real people. And if you know someone living with HIV, please share this video. They deserve to hear this hope.